so this is going to be a tarot and oracle card reading for Pisces. So if you have Pisces in a major chart placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, this reading could be for you. If you do not have it in a major chart placement, it could still be for you, but you need to use your intuition either way to know if this reading is for you because it is a general collective reading, not a personal reading. If you want a personal reading, you can get it on my website. Link is down below in the description box, www.bossasswitch1111.com. Okay, so let's find out what we're talking about here. We're gonna use the What Went Wrong deck by Fire Witch Tarot. Okay, so there was somebody in your life whom either you for a while you kind of would give in to them you would let them kind of walk past your boundaries but you were finally like no i can't do this anymore so you might have broken up with them they just kind of took advantage of the situation could be vice versa and eventually you also i feel like you're maybe surrendering to letting this person go um, because it's too painful it says it's, it hurts too much to hang on here so this is somebody who you kind of gave into all the time, but eventually you were just like, you have enough. No more. I'm not going to give into them anymore. I'm going to set some boundaries. And you did. And you might have broken up with them or, you know, parted ways. And now you're coming to a point where you're just kind of, it's too painful. You're wanting to, or even back then, it was too painful to hang on and to keep letting them do that to you. So you parted ways with this person. Okay, so let's find out more about this situation. What else do we need to know, spirits? What else is, what are you trying to tell us? What's gonna happen in the future with regard to this person? So I don't know if this is one of those, this person comes back and turns things around or they're just warning you that this person's coming back to stay away from them. So let's find out more. So if that resonates with you, let me know down in the comment section below. If any part of this reading at any point resonates with you, I'd like to know whose energy I'm picking up on. Also, be sure to like and share the video. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification bell as well to be notified when I put out a video in the future. Okay, so we have the King of Wands. Okay, so this person, they might be a little bit of an F boy. They might be kind of a player. Um, they are somebody who, you know, they might be somebody that's looked at as good looking, charismatic, but they're kind of cocky, they kind of know it. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, with the King of Wands, you know, he's somebody who sits in his power. He might be a leader. He might be a boss or somebody who's just, you know, got that energy to him. Uh, there might be some distance here with this map. He might be coming to see you. Could be emotional distance. But like I said, I mean, he's, He's, he's good looking and he knows it. He might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. More particularly, might be a Leo. Doesn't have to be for this reading to be with you, before you. He could just have Leo in his chart or he could just embody that energy. But here we go. Here we go. Overall, at some point in the future. Now, I'm not doing specific timing. This could be a while from now. He's going to come in and he's going to want to make you a really good offer. So I don't know if that means he changes. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So the divine is helping you with this. So maybe you're trying to manifest this person back or maybe you did a spell work or something. Got the sun shining bright there. The Ace of Pentacles is just like a really amazing offer brought to you by the divine. In other cards, it's like the divine is handing it to you. I see there's a black cat here. So that could represent because you or them did some shadow work and that somehow changes the situation. So that is, you know, long-term with this situation. 
Let me get some other decks here. What other decks do I want to use? Let's see. Some love decks. Choose this deck here. This is the Arrows of Love Oracle. What else do we need to know? Long term here. We're not doing timing yet. We're not doing six months to a year or sooner. We'll do that in the bonus extended reading. So if you like this reading, if you feel like this reading resonates with you, if you feel like this is about you, or you just have a gut feeling that you're supposed to see it and you want to know more and you want to know what's going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner and what you can do to help the situation out, to make it come in, to make sure that Ace of Pentacles comes in, to make sure it comes in faster or better, I would suggest watching the bonus extended reading. If you want to watch that, you'll just go down below to the description box. There'll be a link that'll take you over to my Patreon. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So we have this person is going to be, if they're not already, enamored with you. Maybe manifesting you. Maybe they do spell work here. We have Love Potion. And then they're going to put their heart on the line. So they're going to come in. Now, I don't know if this, um, if this King of Wands is past energy. Yeah, I think it's still future. I think in the long run, you guys... You know, they can offer you something big, but I guess it's that same storyline that we keep encountering. So it's, it makes sense that the storyline would kind of be the same because I'm probably talking to the same people, the same collective. So it's, I think they're going to come in with a little bit of player energy because we have rose colored glasses. So there is a need to not see this situation with rose colored glasses. Don't see it as better than it is. Look out for red flags. That's what that shows me. This person, we have in the spotlight attention. They're going to want attention. They're just in their ego right now. So they might get attention from more than one person. And that's why it might seem like they're a player. They might be behaving like a player. I think deep down inside, they're not, or they'll change or something because we also have other stuff going on here. So I think before they get to the ace of pentacles, they're going to come in and behave like a king of wands, which can be a bit of a player. doesn't have to be a huge player, but a bit of a player. They're going to want attention from you, from other people. They're in their ego. And so they need external validation to make them feel better about themselves. But as time goes on, like I said, I'm not in six months to a year sooner yet. I'm kind of long term here as time goes on things are going to change they're going to have some kind of an, a light bulb moment they're going to have a realization about you or about your relationship with them they're going to be checking you out and admiring you without telling you about it so they're going to be your secret admirer they might already be and ultimately i think their feelings for you are genuine we have love and lace innocence. So I do believe their feelings for you are genuine, genuine, even though they might at first come in not acting right. And they're going to want something or they're going to be able to give you something secure. We have love nest secure here. So eventually you will have a big offer from them. Eventually you will have something secure, but it looks like they've got some growing up to do. So continue to set your boundaries. Look out for the rose-colored glasses. It's going to take you setting boundaries with them and not letting them get away with stuff for them to change how they treat you. But I think the feelings are there for, for them and how they feel about you. And ultimately, once things change, once they learn these lessons, you guys will be a perfect match. We have a perfect match coming out here. So I love that. Okay, so I'm going to stop this part of the reading and I'm going to go into a bonus extended reading where we find out what's going to happen in this situation in the next six months to a year or sooner um, and see if 
this ace of pentacles if that's if that's going to happen the secure love nest them putting their heart on the line them having a realization is that all going to happen in the next six months to a year sooner or is that just long term and we will get some advice cards about what you should be doing while they're working on themselves how can you work on yourself and maybe some law of attraction cards to find out how you can bring this in quicker, better, smoother, maybe some charms. I haven't pulled some charms in a while and just, just general advice. And also, like I said, find out the outcome. What do we need to know about what's going to happen? Is there something you need to know before you get this ace of pentacles? What is this king of wands? So if you want to get all that information, first of all, let me know down below in the comment section, if you felt like this reading was for you, is there anything in particular that you saw on a card or something I said that, that resonates or just an inner feeling that you know this is for you? Maybe you've had signs and synchronicities that kind of say the same thing or maybe um, maybe you have had other you know general collective readings or even personal readings, maybe even readings you've done for yourself that kind of say the same thing. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you wanna watch the bonus extended to get more details, and dig into the situation and find out what else you need to know that can help you bring in whatever it is that you're wanting, go down below, click the link that takes you to my Patreon. It's only $5.55 to sign up, and that actually gets you unlimited exclusive access to all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and all the readings that I do going forward, not just this one reading. So it's really great value. So if you want to watch, you just go sign up and you get instant access to the rest of this reading. So let's do that now. I will meet you over in the bonus extended for Pisces.